Markers are a really simple feature to use in Final Cut Pro, but there are a few easy tips that I'm going to give you in this video that will not only allow you to harness the power of markers, but also to make your life so much easier when it comes to making revisions on an edit. Whack that like button if that sounds good to you. If you're not familiar with markers, then let's quickly go over the basics. You can create a marker by hovering your playhead where you want the marker to be and simply hit M. This will add a marker to your primary storyline. If you select a clip above the storyline and hit M, you can create a marker on that clip. You can scrub through footage and add markers quickly and easily by just tapping M. If you want to delete a marker, you can right click and select delete. If you want to create a note for yourself, you can double click on a marker to edit it. I'll just click done for now or you can double tap the M key when you create the marker to immediately open up the marker properties and you can type a note here like make black and white and then hit done. Easy peasy, right? That's pretty much all there is to standard markers, but let's talk about where the real power of markers lies and that is with the to-do marker. If you've edited something for a client and they come back with changes linked to the time code, it might look something like this. Those instructions are pretty straightforward especially when you're working with such a short video, but if you're editing a long 30 minute video and you delete sections or swap parts around, these time codes can get really messed up. So with a to-do marker, you can go through your edit, marking the changes, and then you can go back and make those changes without worrying about the time codes. If you already have an existing marker, you can right click and change it to a to-do marker and it will turn red. I'll double click to open this one up and if you look up top, you can see that you can choose a standard marker, a to-do marker, or a chapter marker. Chapter markers are useful if you're still making DVDs. I haven't made a DVD for a client in years, so I hardly ever use the chapter markers, but it's there if you need it. With to-do selected, I'll go ahead and type in what I need to do. So in this case, delete the shot. I'll double tap M on the next shot, set it to to-do, and type delete here as well. I'll scrub over to the 27 second mark, double tap M to create a new marker, and I'll make a to-do to desaturate the shot. If you want to quickly jump to a specific time code, you can click on the time code viewer here and type in 45 seconds and 00, zero frames and hit enter. The playhead will jump to the 45 second mark and I'll add one last to-do marker here to straighten the horizon. I've added all of my to-do markers and now it's time to actually make those changes. And for such a short edit, you could just jump to each red marker on the timeline to make the change, but on larger edits, the index window is going to be your friend. Open up the index window by clicking on it over here, and then select tags at the top. There are a bunch of different filters here, but the important ones for this tutorial are the standard markers over here. You can see the name of the marker and where in the edit it's located. And if I click on the to-dos here, I can easily see all of the changes that I still need to make. I can simply click on each to-do marker to jump to that point in the edit and I can make my changes. So let's do that quickly. I'll delete these two shots and you'll see that the to-do markers disappear. I'll click on the next to-do marker and I'll quickly desaturate this shot. I've completed this change so I'll double click on the marker and mark it as complete. The marker will turn green and it will disappear from my to-do list in my index window. I'll click on the last change that I need to make and I'll straighten that horizon by rotating the clip and scaling it up to hide the black edges that you'll see around the frame. And this time, I'll right click on the marker and mark it as completed. You can see all your completed markers in the index window by filtering by completed markers. You can either leave the green markers there to keep track of the changes you made, or you can select them all by shift or command clicking on them and hitting the delete key. You can delete multiple standard markers in the same way too. As you can see, the to-do markers are incredibly useful and I'm pretty sure if you start using them when you make changes to an edit, especially for clients, that you won't want to do it any other way. Hit that like button if you found this video helpful, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on future videos, and I'll catch you in the next one.